are you jealous? You need a bath. I know. I know. Now that I have everyone's attention, everyone stand like this. <laughs> Anyone else feel like they're on a lawn in Florida? Well, World Flamingo Day is coming up here at the San Antonio Zoo, so we are inside the Caribbean and Chilean Flamingo exhibit. And joining me is Linda Moon, animal care specialist. Now, we've got all these birds behind us. Which ones are Chilean and which ones are Caribbean flamingos? Well, the uh, larger, pinker ones are going to be the Caribbean flamingos, and the smaller ones are going to be our Chilean flamingos. They're quite talkative. Yes, they are. They love to talk and they love to squawk. So these are the babies from last season, so they're growing up. Yes, they're almost a year old now. They are just getting their pink coloring right here, you can see. Oh, look at that, right there, yeah. Where does the pink coloring come from? So the pink coloring would come from in the wild, what they eat, the shrimp and crustaceans. Uh, but here we give them a formulated flamingo diet that already has everything they need. So that's what gives them the color. Yes. It's basically what they're eating. This is Falcor. This is actually our youngest from our last season. Very friendly and very sweet. The breeding program here is extremely important. Yes, we were actually uh, one of the first zoos in the country to raise flamingos. And we've been doing it for over 50 years now. And we actually pr provide flamingos to all the other zoos. So what does it take to take care of these guys? Well, it takes a lot. We maintain their exhibit. We rake and hose. And every day we come and feed them. Um, but that's only the tip of the iceberg here at the zoo. When breeding season starts, we pick up their eggs. We put dummies and we incubate them in our incubation room. And then we actually hand raise them ourselves. So every single one of these guys is hand raised. Yes. So uh, they're they're quite comfortable with uh, yes with humans. Basically, Linda, we're going to clean yes. their exhibit. Yes. We are going to clean a little bit and give them a little bit of dinner. Oh, that's great. Okay, well, it, it's quite pungent <laughs> yes. in here. Yes, flamingos tend to uh, smell a little bit, but they thrive in it. It is part of their environment. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Okay, Fiona. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna rake the uh -huh. leaves and feathers into a pile. Okay. And that will help clean the exhibit and keep it a good environment for these guys. All right. I hope you guys remember who's doing this for you. You like? You like? <laughs> That'll be five dollars. <laughs> All right, it's feeding time. What exactly am I feeding them, Linda? So right here is our adult flamingo breeder diet. Uh, it's in a pellet form. All right, you guys, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's feeding time. What? That is not my, that is not food. That's not food either. Food's right here. Food is right here. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. There we yes. go. Okay, look, it's all over there, you guys. Here we go. Yay! Dinner time. Rub it up, dog. They are go. getting to it first, you guys! Let's go! The ducks are getting to them first! World Flamingo Day coming up on May 28th here at the San Antonio Zoo from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. There's going to be all sorts of activities going on. Yes, we are going to have animal keeper chats with these flamingos. We are going to have uh, interactive tables, and I think we're actually going to pull out one of our flamingos to show to everybody. All right, great day for the family. Bring the kids. For more information on the San Antonio Zoo, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.